If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. Hello, Imelda. Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me, Slytherin Quidditch captain, jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Made it! You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared.
made it. I'd wager the Hufflepuff common room for Cody. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Pushing the power. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my works had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome, runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. 
And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Off on another adventure, are we? <laughs> there they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. here. Hogsmeade, here I come. Still, 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 still
again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterfly. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. What can I do for you today? Wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? You can't imagine. Loud as a troll, you... Get over here, you insolent joy! I defeated an Ashwinder by myself. Yeah. 
I would say that Irondale is not appropriately named. Battery low. Excellent. What's this? A child wanted to move far from home. Expelliarmus. <laughs> Revelio. is so intimidating. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Revelio. I was going to try out for the Quidditch team this year.
Nice to see you, my young friend. What are you up to now? Tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore Rebellion. to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. 
but this place is special to him. Of course. Omina spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabra. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendia. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. 
I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Rebellion. Revelio. isn't he irritated by? I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. A 
wise decision. Thank you. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Here you found a bit of treasure in the forest. I was never one for adventure myself. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Greetings. Please, take your time looking about. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with.
stirred clockwise. Professor, I saw an aura badge on your desk. May I ask about your time as an aura? Mm, observant. I suppose I could indulge you for a moment. Spent years tracking down reprobates who dealt in artifacts of dark magic origin. That seems a bit more dangerous than teaching potions. Often, yes. Though, I've seen some remarkably creative concoctions brewed in my class. I enjoyed a great deal of success as an aura. However, success can make one complacent if one's confidence is not tempered by humility. One overstep in battle changed everything. May I ask what happened? Yes, well, I suppose it's a matter of record. My partner and I had tracked a suspect to a harbor in Scarborough trying to smuggle shrunken heads, of all things. I had deduced that he was working alone. I was mistaken, and they knew we were coming. From the moment we stepped onto the ship, well, I barely escaped with my life. My partner wasn't so lucky. I, I, I suppose being an aura is dreadfully dangerous. I'm sorry. <sighs> it is that. But survival is not guaranteed for any of us. Pay attention. And not just within my class. This is what I must impress upon you all. A potion and a poison may be a mere breath apart until you consume the wrong one. Well said, Professor.
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel is. Oh, I invented flu powder. Allow me to put you out of your misery. Rebellion. Rebellion. <laughs> Off on another adventure, are we? Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. 
Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Hmm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom. For your sake, and that of everyone else. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Nice to see you, my young friend. Was it two pinches of Angelica or three? 